This week's college football playoff rankings brought to you by AT&T. Oklahoma State hangs in, so that's another win over a ranked opponent for the Big 12 contenders, and an ACC team is ranked in Virginia. Interesting to me, I expected to see Cincinnati in this range. I'm wondering if they stayed in the top 20, even though they lost to Memphis, and them staying in top 20 helps out Ohio State. Also, you talk about that, that group of five teams, Cincinnati's still in the mix. Oh, yeah, just waiting for it. It's coming. USC 22, Utah of course lost to USC, Appalachian State at 21. Let's look now at the next group of teams, 16 through 20. Cincinnati is behind Boise State. Both those teams fighting for a New Year's 602 is Memphis, the highest ranked team from the group of five. And obviously Memphis took care of Cincinnati this past week. They're going to be above them, but Cincinnati has an opportunity against them to rise back up and possibly be over, BY or be over Boise State. So group of five, there it is, right there for you. There's your picture. And look at the plummet from Minnesota, dropping 10 spots all the way down to 18 and behind the team that they lost to Iowa before losing to Wisconsin on Saturday. Let's look at 11 through 15 now. Notre Dame, Michigan just falls one spot. Oregon's up. Alabama falls all the way behind Auburn. And it's critical to see, take a look at where Oregon is, and that's important for Utah. Utah currently right now with no wins against any teams in the top 25. That would be the one. That's a big resume builder for them coming up in the Pac-12 title game against their comparison uh, against uh, Oklahoma and Baylor. Also, I mean, we're looking at playoff right now. We start thinking about New Year's Six Bowls and the other bowls. The fact that Auburn's ahead of Alabama potentially could impact the pecking order and what bowls select and choose to do once the New Year's Six Bowls and the other affiliated bowls start making their choices. So Auburn at 11 after beating Alabama, knocking the tide from contention. Let's look at number 10, Penn State, 10 and 2, and the Nittany Lions very hopeful about winding up in the Rose Bowl on New Year's Day. What about number nine, just ahead of the Nittany Lions? The Florida Gators. Gators also sitting there with a terrific 10 and 2 record. Their only loss is coming to teams we think we're going to see in the top these four. These are two teams that could be in consideration for an Orange Bowl and a New Year's Six Orange Bowl as well. In that game, ACC opponent versus the highest ranked SEC, Big Ten, or Notre Dame. So a little flip flopping there after Florida beats Florida State. Just ahead of the Gators who are up two spots this week, Wisconsin. Wisconsin up four spots as they get ready to play in the Big Ten championship game. Kirk, not really a playoff contender, but Wisconsin uh, sitting there in the mix right now and could finish off with a Big Ten championship and potentially a trip to the Rose Bowl. Yeah, obviously they beat Ohio State to go to the Rose Bowl. Interesting thing there, Reese, is if the Buckeyes win, Wisconsin and Penn State, there'll be an interesting discussion there that we'll have maybe later tonight or on Saturday about who has the edge to be the team to represent the Big Ten out in Pasadena. So Wisconsin up four spots to eight. Let's see who's at number seven. It is Baylor. So you're going to have a setup in the Big 12 championship game, a couple of teams in the top seven. And even though Utah has been ranked ahead of Oklahoma all this time, now they're going to have a chance to add a number seven Baylor onto their resume. And this is going to be thin and a good conversation to be had. Whose resume at the end looks better if Baylor sitting at seven? We assume that Oklahoma is going to be at six and Utah at five. And Baylor lost. Keep in mind, we're going to see Oklahoma in a second. Baylor lost to Oklahoma mm -hmm. when they were up 25 points and had the game in hand. I mean, the committee talks about all this. They're going to bring all of this into account. If they avenge their only loss, Baylor's in a really and good And it's point. been an amazing two weeks for Baylor. Remember two weeks ago, they were number 14. We've been calling this Big 12 market correction yeah. that we saw last week when they moved up five spots. Then all of a sudden, Oregon loses and Minnesota loses and Alabama loses. And now you've got a top seven meetup in the Big 12 title game. And as you mentioned, David, if they avenge that loss against Oklahoma, if they play in that game the entirety, the way they played the first half when they had a 25-point lead, could that be enough yes. to, conventional, to maybe convince the committee to leapfrog Utah if LSU beats Georgia? Uh, Kirk, I always say you have to be cautious here because you're dealing with a small group of people. The committee's only 13 uh, people, a uh, number of 13 people, and that's not even counting when guys are recused from making the discussions. But do you derive anything from what you've seen so far and how it could impact Utah in the Pac-12 championship game if the Utes win against the Big 12 champion? 
Well, I think it's always important to remember as much as conference championships are important, the entire body of work is, is more important. Uh, week one to week 12 and then into the extra uh, week that you have to play. And it, it's an interesting discussion that, uh, that the committee's going to have to have with Utah and Oklahoma. Everything has shown us up to this point, and we'll see here in a few minutes, that, that they favor Utah over Oklahoma. Will that, as guys just said, will playing number seven for number six OU give them an advantage enough of an advantage over what the committee has felt that Utah should be ahead of them. Uh, it'd be interesting to see, I think, the style of their last game as well in a closing argument. All right, we can touch on that too as to whether it should matter that much, but let's look at the top six right now. At number one, Ohio State hold its place. I was like, I was about to get weird. I was about to get weird. Uh, awesome. I thought we were starting at six. Are we <laughs> counting down from six now? Okay, get six. Uh, okay, yes. we're going to count down from six now. That is not. <laughs> God, that would have been awesome. Hey, no, got it all. Check, 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 check. <laughs> Omaha, Omaha, Omaha. Yeah. Omaha. <laughs> Utah is number five, one spot ahead of Oklahoma. Both of those teams will play in their respective conference championship games. Let's continue looking at the ranking team in the top four. Georgia is number four. Dogs holding that. They'll get a shot at LSU at number three. I assume we're going to see Clemson again. And we do. But you know what? Clemson better beat Virginia in that ACC championship game. And there is no chance they go to the playoff because nobody respects them or believes they're good. I think yeah. Clemson would be in it. They lost. And so do I. I and do. my tongue was firmly planted in my cheek, <laughs> making fun of Dabo because I think Clemson's. I think these top three teams are in regardless of what happens. Absent getting vote raced by 50, which is not going to happen, top three are going to be in. Let's look at number two. It's still LSU, and then number one is Ohio State. Now, perhaps part of the of the talk that Dabo Sweeney's looking at and how is it he's got the nation's longest winning streak won two of the last three national champions are the reigning national champions and they're going to wind up with LSU or Ohio State presumably while you would think that number one would get a bigger, bigger advantage. Hey thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for more scores highlights and analysis you can download the ESPN app. You got the ESPN app, right? I, I, honestly, on Saturdays for college football fans, if you don't have the ESPN <laughs> app, that's the lifeline for every college football fan. So you have to have that. The live streaming now, mm -hmm. ESPN Plus, to me, it's the only way to go. ESPN Plus was key for me recently. Got to get <laughs> ESPN Plus. Arkansas State, Troy, down to the wire. Loving Super it. Superdog winner. Thanks to ESPN Plus.